Hey guys, this is Mrs. MacPhail. I just wanted to remind you of some ways that you can go between feet and inches, yards and feet, miles and feet. Um, we, of course, use feet and yards to measure shorter lengths. We use miles to do longer distances. But we can go between those distances, and sometimes we have to, especially when we're measuring and we need to know more specific measurements, like when you're doing your uh, measurement project. So, you know that one foot has 12 inches, one yard has three feet, one yard also has 36 inches because each of those one foot, one, each of those one foot have 12 inches in them. So three times 12 is 36. If you want to get fancy with dividing, you know that one inch is equal to one twelfth of a foot, so a fraction there. One foot is equal to one third of a yard and one inch is equal to 1 36th of a yard. You can see how they're just reversed here, all right, to compensate for the fact that an inch is really small compared to a yard, all right? A reminder that you can find out, for example, six yards is equal to how many feet? All you would have to do is multiply six yards times three feet, and each yard would be 18 feet, okay? So, as long as you know a length in feet, you can change it to inches. You can also change it to yards. All right, kind of goes back and forth like that. One of the other things I wanted to show you though is that you can go between the customary unit, which is what we use in the United States, inches, feet, miles, and you can go to the metric system if you want to. Centimeters, meters, and kilometers. It's something that we really don't teach you, um, but it's kind of a cool way of knowing how to do it. So for example, in one inch, we have 2.54 centimeters, so just a little bit over two and a half centimeters. So using that knowledge, how could you find out how many centimeters are in five inches? Well, one thing you could do is you could kind of like set up a ratio a little bit. If you know that there are a little bit over two and a half centimeters, in one inch, you want to find out how many are in five inches. All you have to do is multiply. Here's something you might not know about conversions, but if I were to draw a line, I would cross off inches because they're opposite each other, all right? because I'm trying to find how many centimeters. I don't know how many centimeters. Okay, and I'm getting rid of inches. So I would do 2.54 times five, which if I get out my calculator, you could also do it by hand if you wanted to. Twelve point seven centimeters. Cool, huh? All right, let's try another one. How could you find out how many inches are in twenty centimeters? So how could you do that? I'm going to get rid of this for a second. It's the same thing. We need to find out how many inches are in twenty centimeters. Well, we know that 2.54 centimeters are equal to one inch. Oops. And I've actually written it upside down here because you can't have centimeters on top of each other. So we need to redo that. So we're going to do one inch. We're going to flip it around because we're looking for inches this time. It's okay to make mistakes in math. So we don't know inches. All right. This time, Let's just multiply straight across. One inch times 20 centimeters 
is 20 inch centimeters. That sounds really funny. Just bear with me for a minute though. On the bottom, we have 2.54 centimeters times an unknown amount of inches. So we're going to go 2.54 And we don't know inches, but we know centimeters. Okay, I'm going to cross off my centimeters because they cancel each other. And now I'm just left with uh, my inches. But this is like a division problem now. It's a ratio. So we would divide 20 by 2.54. Or in other words, how many times does a little bit over 2.5 go into 20? You could either do that the longhand way, or if you wanted to, you break out your trusty calculator and you go 20 divided by 2.54. So that would give you your answer, 7.87 inches. Okay, always going to check your work. You could go back through and multiply this by 2.54 to see if you get 20 centimeters again, okay? Um, another thing I wanted to tell you about, and it's not on here, but you know that in one centimeter there are 10 millimeters, okay? So you could also use that if you wanted to find out how many millimeters were in a foot, you could do it that way as well too. So kind of a cool way to go between the customary and standard system, or the metric system, excuse me. So give it a whirl, and we'll check in with you tomorrow. See you later.